Jimmy, last week we asked our viewers to send in pictures of their favorite ornaments and share the stories behind them. I tell you what, you guys delivered. So we're going to take some time today to show off some more of those ornaments. But first, Jimmy, what about you? Do you have a favorite ornament that, that means a whole lot to you? You know, as a matter of fact, I do, and I'm glad you asked. This year, I made sure to dig this one out. It's an angel that's made out of a paper plate that Zach did in preschool. It's actually the tree topper. I couldn't find it forever, finally found it, and it's sitting on top of our tree this year. Hey, check this out. Check out this beautiful hand-crocheted angel. Don't see many decorations like this one. Char Snelling posted this picture to our Facebook page. This angel adorned with pearls was crocheted by Char's 91-year-old cousin. Char says her cousin hand-starches the angels herself with sugar. Sugar, that's interesting. Jennifer shared this picture with us. She says this ornament has hung on her family tree for 50 years. She says wow. growing up, her family was poor. Her mother was a single parent of four and did her best to provide. Jennifer goes on to say she was shopping with her mother, fell in love with this ornament, but her mother told her they could not afford to buy it. Fast forward to Christmas morning and Santa had this ornament in Jennifer's stocking. What a memory. <laughs> No kidding. This is cool, too. Nick Sloan of Dagsboro says they visited Cleveland, toured the house in the Christmas story. This, uh, what you see here, these are the, actually the admission tickets. The Sloan has made a shrunken copy of the tickets. They laminate them. Now they're an ornament on the tree. By the way, if you look real close, you see that leg lamp beside them. <laughs> and this little mouse sleeping comfortably in a Santa hat at the house of Monica Norris and Lewis. She says this dates back to 1978. Monica was only five when her aunt painted this for her. She says she actually lost it during a move one year, but that by the grace of God, it reappeared. Cherish those memories, Monica. June Cole says she and her son made these ornaments about 36 years ago. Her son's is on the right, and she says, I'm sure he could do better now. June, I'm sure that ornament holds a special place in your heart <laughs> and always will. And finally today, Gary Hall of Ocean City sent us this picture. He says growing up, he was always a big fan of Hot Wheels. His grandmother would surprise him with a new Hot Wheels car every time that he visited her. Gary says this ornament is a reminder of those great memories, and Gary also says... This is how he imagines Santa delivers presents on the eastern shore. The reindeer have the night off. Santa cruises up and down the bay spreading holiday cheer to all. <laughs> I think he's on to something there. 